Well, hello and welcome to my website. My name is Drew Innes and it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. In this video, we're going to be working through the material from Money and the Law of Attraction, Learning to Attract Wealth, Health and Happiness by Jerry and Esther Hicks. Now, I have the absolute pleasure to present a morning call for a global community of like-minded people in the personal and professional development movement. I'm one of the leaders in the direct sales industry located out of uh, the beautiful Manly Beach on the east coast of Sydney, Australia. And every morning at 9 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard Time, we take uh, an inspiring book or thought or action and we talk about it on a community call. So here's uh, an extract of that call today. It's broken up into part one and part two. Money and the law of attraction. The first big idea was the shortage of connection. And the quote there that we, we read from was, shortage of time is not your problem. Shortage of money is not your problem. Shortage of connection to the energy that creates worlds is at the heart of all sensations of shortage that you are currently experiencing. The real issue is at the heart of your fear, your suffering, your lack and limitation, your limiting beliefs. It's got nothing to do with the bad economy. It's got nothing to do with your childhood or your upbringing. It's got everything to do with actually how connected you are with the source energy of your life. To be in that space, to, be, to get ourselves into that flow, we need to be conscious. We, ha we all have conscious choice, the way in which we want to conduct ourselves on a daily basis. And if we can distill it down to you know, what Esther Hicks talks about, that there are really only two emotions, a bad feeling emotion and a good feeling emotion, well, certainly all of us would choose the latter, you know, over a bad feeling emotion and continu continually strive to do that. What's the best way to do that? It's to recognize and honor your talents, gifts, skills, virtues and values and, and to act always in integrity with them. So you're not compromising your integrity by doing the things on a daily basis that actually don't bring you the joy that you're wanting to experience and express in your life. This beautiful segue into the second big idea in this book, what is your lifetime career? Because everyone on this call is now expressing a career change because you're making this transition from whatever it is that you're currently doing at the moment, particularly for those that are working spare time and part time in, in this business opportunity. You're, you're making that segue across into a full-time gig here. If this is now your lifetime career moving forward, how are you going to express true inner peace, joy and happiness, rapture, all of those higher vibrating, higher feeling, good emotions in the day-to-day -day work that you do? And this was some of the big ideas that we talked about last night on the Think and Grow Rich call because I wanted to really ground it back down to the business and sort of say in your marketing you need to find a way to express that which brings you the most joy and it's in the process of doing that that you're going to attract all of the right people and the right circumstances and opportunities to you within the business because you've got the vehicle and we, when we talk about duplication we're talking about duplicating business processes and attitudes and habits habits of success, attitudes of success, and business processes. We're not talking about putting yourself under adverse pressure, thinking that you actually need to replicate someone else that you're seeing teaching from stage or you know, out there just uh, you're doing incredible things, uh, building a personal brand, because you are you. You need to find what resonates with you at the highest level and express that. And in the process of doing that, you're going to build a huge business. So then moving on to the next big idea in this book, the most valuable skill that you can use is the skill of directing your thoughts to what you want. Decide on what you want, acknowledge that there will be obstacles and take inspired action every day in the direction of achieving what it is that you want. How can we you know, maintain our energy at the highest level? By developing this most valuable skill, the skill of directing your thoughts to what you want. One of my recommendations would be honour your daily rituals. If you haven't yet taken steps to change some of your habits and put in place and keep reinforcing the rituals of success that are going to condition your mind and condition your actions, then again, you're letting yourself down. Don't, don't give this lip service. Do not underestimate the power 
of the five pillars of success that are outlined in our business system. Visualization and meditation is the fastest way to develop this most valuable skill of directing your thoughts to what you want. And if you create a daily ritual every morning and every evening around this, then you're going to steadfastly move towards conquering the monkey chatter that's happening in your, in your mind and distracting you from the process of achieving what you want by being able to hone and master this most valuable skill. Mastery is nothing more than practice, 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 practice. Magnificent money. Financial success or any other kind of success does not require hard work or action, but it does require alignment of thought. And this really just comes down to that motherhood statement of integrity, that you need to have congruence between your, your being, your thinking, your speaking and your acting. So we have to have alignment of thought to actually put ourselves in the money flow and I'm going to read from a quote here, and, and this is extremely powerful. Listen to these words. Most of you are much closer to a financial fortune than you are even allowing yourself to purely desire, because in the thought that it might come, you right away be begin thinking of how disappointed you will be if it does not come. And so in your lackful thought, you do not allow yourself to desire or to expect anything magnificent in the terms of money. And that is the reason why, for the most part, you are living rather mediocre financial experiences. So that concludes part one of Money and the Law of Attraction, Learning to Attract Wealth, Health and Happiness from Jerry and Esther Hicks. I look forward to seeing you back here on part two.